Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how to get the active developer badge and learn how to code a discord bot using Python. This is a 100% efficient and legit way and it's, it's quite easy so let's get started. So here are the things that we will need. We will need discord stating the obvious. We will need a discord application which will host our bot on the discord platform. We will need Python, and Python is a programming language. We will need it to have pip. Pip is a package manager for Python packages. PyCharm is what we will program the language in. Discord.py is a package, which pep will be using. Entry is also another package. Discord.py implements Discord APIs, and Tree will let us implement and use the slash commands for the discord bot okay so let's download all of our sources we're gonna need python which is the language we download just click downloads and preferably download the most latest version make sure that it, it includes pip in the custom installation because we need pip that is very important make sure that you have pycharm downloaded pycharm is what will the program that we will code python in Make sure you have discord.py, which is the Discord's API application. And we, this one right here. So it is the GitHub. You click on code, download zip, and you will download it. And yes, so then we go and we download tree. So we look at tree, PYPI. This is in a, in a Python certified website, actually. And we will download tree, okay. So, you can either make a Discord bot in your current server or make it in a new one. I'm going to make it in a new one, so I'm going to create my own server. I pressed it using the add to server, <laughs> this button right here. I clicked on that. Okay, so I created my bot. For me, my friends, whatever, I'm going to name it Laddie Laddie's Bot. Create. There you go. Server's created. Remember guys, all of our sources will be in the description below. All right, so now we are going to go into Discord Developer Portal. We're gonna look it up. I will have a link provided down below. Make sure you're logged in into your account. We're gonna do new application. Once we clicked on new application, name it whatever you wanna name it. I'm gonna name it subscribe to Lady Ladia. Oh, and agree to terms of service, of course. Make sure to do that. Okay, so once we created that, we are going to create the bot. So I'm gonna name it, subscribe to Ladi Ladia bot, save. We're gonna go through privileged gateway intents and make sure all three of these are allowed. This will make the script to work for this bot. We're also gonna give our bot administrator, okay? We're gonna click, or you can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be an administrator, it's not necessary. Do whatever in particular you desire. Go to OAuth2 URL generator and we are going to invite this bot. Click on the scope bot. I'm going to make it administrator, like I said. Copy this, look it up on the internet, and this will give us an invite. In this will invite the bot into our server. I'm going to give it into the server that I made, which was called Ladi Ladius Bot. Continue, authorize. There you go. As you can see, the bot is now in our server, but it is offline and it is not working right now. Now, make sure that all of those things are installed. The link to them is down below. We're gonna code it now. So open up PyCharm. Now that we have PyCharm open, you should see some kind of welcome screen. I don't have it because I've already done projects before, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna click on file new project and now you're gonna name it whatever you want it to be I'm gonna name it Ladi Ladi Bot YouTube virtual ENV okay make sure it probably says create a main.py welcome script this will just show you the point to coding in PyCharm uh, you can click it you can unclick it preferably unclick it so that it'll be clear so I'm just it'll be created like this okay so now it's created we are going to create a new uh, Python file. So we're gonna we're gonna right click 
on our project. Click on New Python File. Name what it, name it whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna name it like that. Whatever you want it to be. Okay, so here we are. On the PyCharm program, we are going to open up the terminal, which is the command line for our shell. So we're gonna click on terminal on the bottom right here, as you can see. We are going to pip install our packages, which is discord.py and tree. So we're going to do pip install discord. We're also going to do pip install tree. Now we can double check and see if discord pops up simply. Oh, there you go. Discord does pop up, which is great. Congratulations. You have went this far that you're now in the coding chapter. All right, welcome. Let's get started. So follow after what I do. This right here is going to be the name of your command. I'm going to name it Ladi Ladia. Name it whatever you'd like it to be. Description means that this will describe what the command does. This is what your description will say. All right, there you go. I have officially written the entire script that was necessary for building our bot. Now, we need two things. We are going to need our guild ID and we are going to need our bot key. I will show you how to get these two keys now. Open up the Discord server that you are going to have your bot inside of. So, also, first go to settings. Scroll down and click on advanced under the app settings column. 
and make sure that you have developer mode on. Now that we have developer mode on, we can easily right click on our icon and click copy ID. And now that we have copied ID, we can place it in over here. And for some reason it's not in, I think, oh, I, I didn't click the right button. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we do that. Same goes with over here. There you go. Now we are going to get our bots ID. To get our bots ID, we're going to open up the developer portal again. Go to your designated bot, and right here it will say token. What you're going to do is you're going to click reset token, and if you have factor authentication, you will need to type it in. Now I'm going to do that. I'm going to open up my authenticator real quick. Now that you have it, this is your token. You're going to copy it and you're going to place it inside of the script of our code that we've been making. We're going to do bot.run and we're going to type in our key. This is our designated key. Okay. Now I would like to let you know that I will clear my key right after this video stating the obvious because even though this bot isn't important, I don't want you guys to hack me or something. I don't know, be me. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be reset. You should make sure to reset it too. Well, that will stop the code from working, obviously, but you know, just, just saying, don't give it out to anybody. Piece of information, okay? Now that we have that done, we may run our bot. I am quite positive that this will work. Here goes nothing, you're gonna click on the top right, run. Oh, it's logging in. It says that the bot is now online, which is a very, very good sign. We're gonna open up Discord, and there you go. If you can see right here, the bot is now online, which is a fabulous thing. Now we're gonna attempt to type in our commands. Oh, and it shows right here, subscribe to Ladi Ladius bot, which is the name of our bot, or of my bot. This is the command. And it says the description subs to channel if we type it in the bot will say make sure to subscribe to the Lottie Lottie YouTube channel and like the video which is actually overall extremely true discord makes a requirement where your server needs to be a community server so you're going to click on your server click on server settings and in the community there's a community column click on enable community get started verify email required Scan media from all members. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I mean, if you made a brand new server, then <laughs> you're just doing this. You're setting up the basics, saying that you agree. Finish setting up, and there you go. Your server is now a community. Discord will save that notification. And, you know, you can run the command again, just in case. You know, who knows. To claim our Discord developer badge, we're going to look up Discord active developer badge. We look at look that up on Google click on the first link this will be a discord forum we're going to scroll down and we're gonna see it has a link to developer portal we're gonna click on it and it says that I've claimed my developer badge which I have but if you look at this video this is a video of me claiming the badge as you can see I selected my designated application my server I clicked in the channel that is needed for announcements and I clicked claim. I don't know why I'm taking so long. There you go. And I activated my badge and now I have my badge. It will take 24 hours until Discord gets notified that you have ran a slash command with your bot. And once that is done, you will be able to claim your badge. Congratulations. I would like to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope I was able to help you guys out and find out how to get the Discord Active Developer Badge and make a Discord bot using Python with code. This is a fair and square video. I've seen other videos of people literally making you place in scripts and downloading these really dumb files and you're probably going to get scammed if you do that. You're probably going to get hacked. So this is the affirmative and correct way on how to do this. So thank you guys for watching, subscribe, listen to Pep right here, and goodbye.